the government made accountability. How did the government make, make, make accountability? The government had made accountability in the following terms. One, it went and where it established the whereabouts of people who had been said to be missing, the government made accountability and said, these ones, we have them in detention. These ones will have them before courts of law, including the court martial. You may disagree with the trial of some sections of Ugandans, especially civilians, in the court martial. That's a different matter. Mm -hmm. But the government made accountability. Including today, some of the names being paraded, being re I want to use the word being regurgitated, are names of people who are before courts of law. You can disagree whether they are being charged with frivolous offenses or whatever, but the government has made accountability. Now, if Honorable Mwanga Kibumbi is saying they are giving ultimatum that the government of Uganda must apologize, must make this accountability, I wish him luck. I really wish him luck. But also, in the laws of Uganda, our constitution, the Administration of Parliament Act, there's nowhere where it says the decisions of parliament will be invalid because certain members were not present, and were, were not mm -hmm. present at the time of debate or passing a resolution or even the legislation. So I think that one take this flexibility of the leadership in the parliament and NRM itself in the, in the country for granted. I just hope that time is going to come when the NRM group will say we can no longer take this nonsense. So that we stop pleading with them. Mm. We stop pleading with them because, and, and why I agree with the Honorable Barium, we say that this is a drama. How come you saw them the other day when they were paying a tribute to Chamber, to, to Honorable Henry Chamber, they rushed back. Did the government of Uganda, did the issues now die? because you are going to pay tribute to chamber, the one the Henry chamber. That's why the issue of drama comes in. How come you leave parliament, you leave the chambers, and you come to the corridors to give interviews to the media and to go up to the canteen to take tea and eat food and so on and so forth. And then you run to the committees to sign attendance, then you walk out. Because you know if you don't, if you don't sign, attendance of committee, perhaps that you will not get that part allowance. I think that's part of the drama. But I want to say, my suspicion is we are mid-term of this parliament. Part of this renewed efforts of boycott, of walkout, I think there are people who are up, trying to position or strengthening their position to be seen by the leadership of their parties that they are the ones who can be vocal on the issues they think are pertinent. You walk out when all doors are closed. Are the doors closed on the issues they are raising? Let, 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 let's explore that in a moment. But let me Absolutely first, let, let, not. Let me come back to, to, to Mwanga I, I, I just, I just, want, I just <laughs> want to wind up. So, but also, my gut feeling is that this particular group of NUP now, this renewed thing, you know, they had, they had been disquiet on the leadership of Honre Bompuga. You remember about three, four months ago, there were, there were whispers that he had been compromised by the NRM through his close association with the Speaker of Parliament. Mm. You remember? I suspect that has instigated him, has incited him to kind of do this drama. The third line, I think, the FDC clan war had taken the sale of NUP leadership, NUP politics in parliament. And I think part of this is could be a bit the, of this stand, stand is to regain the higher ground in publicity, in media attention. Because as you, you, you're a journalist, you know it. You remember the famous case in, in Britain where Prescott, the deputy prime minister, mm. when they saw that uh, uh, Labour uh, was taking a lead, then uh, they, 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 they manufactured the Prescott to be hammered with eggs on the streets. So some of these could be 
handwork, protocol handwork, if you want to gain visibility, which you had lost. I, 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 I can see one that is looking at yes, you in this I, 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 I think th there are a number of things they have, because all these things, believe you me, they are well planned, well orchestrated to achieve a certain intended objective. Okay. Let which, in my view, is really mischief. I, I, I will interrogate some of those uh, in deeper detail. Who is part of this workout? Uh, let me first <coughs> could, respond could, to could, a few issues. Could you, could, you, could you give me a direct answer? Who is part of this workout? The entire position is The entire position. Yes. Okay. If the entire position, as you respond, I have a message here from uh, Ken Mutenyo. Ken Mutenyo Ken is a member. Ken is lost. He's in a room. He's a member of the no, no, Democratic no, Party. Kenny is and he says, Mao. No, no, let's, don't people, Kenny Mutenyu is with Mao. They are working from seven. They are serving the Mohozi project. So they is, are part is, of is the junta. Is DP part of the... No, Kenny Mutenyu is not a member of parliament. No, no, I'm asking. Kenny Mutenyu works with Mao. They have, they have long abandoned the struggle. You, they are you, dining you, with you the You said terrorists. the entire opposition? No, no, no. And, and that Kenny Mutenyu cannot speak for the opposition. And the entire opposition. No, no, can you tell me? If so they want to send you a message. Be, my yes. understanding is, when you speak about the entire opposition, opposition political parties with representation, no, not in the 11th no. parliament, no. Uh, hold, hold a minute, in the 11th parliament, are the national unity platform to which you belong, which has the majority number at 57, the forum for democratic change, the Democratic Party, Uganda People's Congress, and I think uh, PPP? Yeah. Yes, and PPP. Are the political parties, and uh, does Gemma have a member? Yes. Yes, and Gemma. Those are the political parties that are represented. So I'll read a message, I'll read the message from uh, Ken Mutenyu. No, no, and then you, you read respond. Ken Mutenyu, yes. let me first respond to you. I respect you. Yes. Are you from Alaska? No, you, you. Yes. Are you from Alaska? So what, what is the question? What do I mean? Do you live in Uganda? Are you a senior journalist? Do you know what is going on? Now you read your question. I your am comment. asking questions. Okay. Yes. Are you from Alaska? Ken Mutenyu is asking. If you are not from Alaska, the right description, you here, the right you know description what of what these MPs are doing is political posturing. I agree with Honorable Mwanga on impunity and arrogance. During his two hours of fame, there was no meeting of opposition parties to discuss the workout. This is why some opposition MPs were also surprised by the workout. All the four new condition, all the four new conditions can be handled either in parliament or in court. A case in point is habeas corpus. Today, we have a law on individual culpability. Compensation can be handled in court hum or the Human Rights Commission. These people are elected to talk, but they continue working out because they will still be paid via their consolidated pay system. Today, I do not have a father because of violation of his rights to life by Obote II government. As such, I understand the impact of such violations. How many of those missing people will resurface because of walkout? Let them resign from parliament if they have failed to talk. Mm. Go ahead and respond. There are many True. issues first, that first of all, Brandon and uh, yeah, First of all, Brandon, I think his argument has been crushed by the one submission of OO. And I think they two never prepared to be on this show. Brandon tried to say this is an... We invite them as individuals, <laughs> no, no. not as a group. Brandon tried no. with fair amount of, of lack of history to say this is a one-off. This is the new world behavior. Then OO says, no, there is a history of this kind of behavior. Therefore, even, where, even the people you mentioned, like uh, Agra Wari, Oh, oh, I was saying Agra was walking out. So you could see the kind of leadership you have. They can't even speak on the same page. The other one is the spokesperson, I hear, of what? Of the caucus. You know, I, now oh, oh, is, the, <laughs> is the chief, is the director of the communication, the director, executive director yes, of the Ghana Media Center. The two of them, you can imagine if you are dead. The, the other one speaks for parliament. This one for government. They too can't even agree on simple facts to present to a major media. What kind of fellows do you have for, you take for leaders? The two of them, 
It is it is so graphical. How I, I like, how? I like your own energy. No 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 no. I mean, when you, you I listen to Brandon and then I just carefully listen. I said, oh wait a minute, are these from the same government, from the same party? Are these spokespersons of the same government? The other one of the caucus, this one of government, completely far apart. Therefore, you should next time you come to a meeting at least. If you want some drama, do some homework to have some level. Oh, I really respect you. Then OO says there have been four rounds of debate. That means we have made efforts to debate this issue on the floor of parliament. So you cannot say we did a walkout out of drama. It's the same thing the speaker did. He read out a written of, of occasions where there has been time allocated to debate human rights. That means there is impunity. It answers you. That means there is impunity. We debate, we talk, you continue to do the same thing the next day. So that's why you can, you can use their own argument to say that, that these are the ones properly who are in the theater acting. Then what, what other issues? He has mentioned that the likes of Semogerere, the likes of other people. So this is the common road. Those who believe in constitutionalism and the rule of law and want to assert and want to be heard, fight for, this, for justice, it's the road they take. So it's a civic road. It's what the President William Seven, the current people you work for, addressed with the same injustice, did not have the patience, the civility to debate. They went to kill each other and killed many hundreds and thousands of people to go to power. So, you, so even if you want to gain a high moral ground, you simply lose the argument. Museveni and others, first with this kind of injustice, they simply picked up guns. They could not even have the civility to debate, and they were in high positions. Therefore, for you to try to trivialize this issue is really to show you either you are short on history or you did not do a good homework today. Now, you are asking, let me come to your question. Mm -hmm. What was your question? I was asking who's part of this workout? First of all. And you said the entire opposition. Yes, Mutenyu is not in and parliament. And you said DP, yes. Mao. Yes, and, uh -huh. I, and I ask you, sir, whether you are from Alaska. If you are from here, you, you are sure who in this country puts on the clothes of the opposition and is not it's not opposition. Uh, so I, you don't quote. I, 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 I don't expect I, I a senior asking, journalist like question. you. I don't expect I a senior journalist a like you to say UPC, as if you don't I know part asking, of UPC is in government. DP, as if you don't know part basis, of DP is in government. I am you asking the question, FDC, Honorable Shibombe, yes. on a basis of facts. The basis of facts. Your party, yes. the National Unity Platform, leads the opposition in parliament. Yes. What is that opposition it leads apart from itself? That's, what, that, that's what I've said, yes. that for all the well-meaning members of the opposition, we are together. Actually, in the caucus today, there was Madame Cecilia Ogwar. They are the, the leaders, the whips of parties have been there. We are on the same page. Because, you see, even some MPs who tried to bring in tribal elements lost it. They were instead saying, even in APA, they are murderers. Even in Karamoja, they are murderers. Right. Even they, they are kidnaps, they are disappearances. So you are speaking a, gov a government whose face can be defined by disappearances, kidnap, and everything that is unlawful. So this is who they are. And therefore, our actions today, if whoever is watching today, we are justified to do what we are doing. And the OO and the Brandon have made our case. And I think the, the, the attempt of government to travelize and bring us fairly, not even senior members, has, they have lost it out. Two, how comes you now speak of a government that a person disappears, that people are killed and they call it drama? You've lost a sense of stigma, a sense of shame. That's how low you can go. And say you are insensitive to the people who have lost their loved ones. And you are saying, that's a government we have. It Hon is a shame. Honorable Mwanga Chiwembe, let me put a question to you. Both the colleague panelists here These ones have and lost. some of the viewers yes. have asked about the other options. 
How many applications for habeas corpus have you filed in courts over these missing people? Good enough um, here. Even before NOP, we've been to court so far. I'm talking about the period no, 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 between no, no, no. 2019. Please, please, don't qualify periods. I've been to courts of law. When faced with these injustices in the Police Act, I, I personally walked to a constitutional court to seek a constitutional interpretation. The court, the constitutional court answered my, my, my prayer in affirmative. Declared section of the law and constitution. We came to parliament certain and debated the Public Order Management Act. Dissatisfied still with the other civil societies, we went back to court and won. Asmani Basariro has brought a miscellaneous amendment to the flow of parliament to erase all those illegal things in, on our books of law. So we've been to a constitutional or lawful path. I am asking, I am asking a specific question. <laughs> when a person mm. cannot be accounted for, you apply to court, for a writ of habeas corpus. Yes. In the case of the people who have been disappeared between 2019 and 2023, how many applications for habeas corpus have you filed? That is one route. But the other route is that you can demand for those responsible and on oath to protect the people of Uganda. OK? I don't want you to disappear. And I ask the judiciary. When you disappear in the hands of the state operatives, before I even think about going to the judiciary, I'll demand it from those who are in power and have you. If they have admitted that you have Chibarama, and the prime minister, head of government, says we have Chibarama, then why should I go for habeas corpus when the people who, these people have been picked by bonds from home mm -hmm. and taken and have disappeared? The, the government that's supposed to protect the people of Uganda is here, is the one we are saying, please account. And we are representative of the people. We are, one of the, the oath I take is to promote, defend, and uphold the constitution, the constitution. of the Republic of Uganda. I'm on oath to do that. I've never been elected to petition court. Your rules. No, no, I'm what, saying. What, what, does, what does it mean They are you? saying the space I have. Yes is parliament. I'm on oath to protect and promote and defend the constitution of the Republic of Uganda. I'm asking these okay. gentlemen, okay. Let, let, let please me, let, account Let me put another people. question to you. What effect is your workout when parliament business continues? Where are they concerned? Yeah. Exactly. Why are you debating it? Why are we spending all these hours for debating it? <laughs> effectively, it tells you we are effective. Sir, this is one of the highly rated TV talk shows in this land. Okay? Here we are last week, this week, we are debating with human rights abuses, and you say that's not a plus. So here we are. This is, if you are to celebrate, to ask me the achievement, that's what we are doing. And we're asking them account. And they can't walk away. Government is having press conferences. No matter the language they use drama. But they are responding. So we are, give, we are doing proper check on the powers of the executive. And that's what we should all to do. Be, be, before we go back to um, Brandon, and we'll be taking a break shortly. But let me just put one quick question. Ofono Pona alleges that there are other undercurrents. He makes mention of two specific ones. One, he says, uh, as the leading opposition party, you'd lost the shine to the drama. I, I mean, to the issues, not the drama, the, the issues in the Forum for Democratic Change. He says, number two, uh, the, the, the question of uh, that the leader of opposition is trying to reassert himself. Well, you respond? I'm not a conspiracy theorist. It is them who have that time to go into conspiracy, and uh, I, I don't envy you. So you can dwell on that. That is your field. Sir, that is you, not for me. Then, as to whether you, we are trying to shine and outshine these other things, is please give us the people who have disappeared. Compensate for the dead. Account for, you know, our people are in court martial. 
have gone to villages and looked at the grave. The other day, we were, we were, yesterday we were briefed. The leader of opposition visited the family of one of the people who disappeared. Okay, the mother has gone partially insane because of the disappearance of the, of his son. Therefore, these are real issues. If people want to put a theory or a conspiracy master, please, first account for the dead. And those of you who are telling us, you know, there is a business in parliament, which business is better than protecting people's lives? You want to tell us about to, uh, harvesting what? What harvesting? With the dead people? So, oh, oh, please, tell your government to be sensible and sensitive to the people of Uganda. Okay, we need, uh, there is uh, Abaho from Kazo District says, tell Brandon and Opondo that Chibalama, Kanate, and Sempija's relatives have today come out on, t on live TV uh, to say that they have never been contacted by the human rights groups that you're talking about. So what are they telling Ugandans? Is Brandon an MP really? Uh, Kanate, you'll be, uh, I mean, uh, Abaho, you'll be responded to uh, by Honorable Brandon uh, at some time. Uh, Ken Mutenyo came back. Um, he says uh, he was with you in UID 1995, and uh, you know each other very well. And he says, as a lawmaker, he knows that to belong to a party, you must have a membership card. I give him the rest of his life to produce NRA membership cards for Mao, Siranda, and Mutenyo, or else keep quiet forever. Uh, it's a tired narrative. Um, uh, then I have a message here from uh, uh, someone says, habeas corpus is also a constitutional route. Let Mwanga be clear if that route has been explored or not. Uh, this person is watching us from the war. Um, another viewer here, uh, another viewer says, um, okay, another viewer says, I wonder when and what shall lead the opposition of Uganda to draw the attention in availing answers to the fundamental questions rather than using the same questions to seek their political relevance through criticism. The opposition capers, huh? should change their political attitude unless their intention is to maintain the political space. Uh, and we know Arthur at Nkumba University, and he's from Rakai District. I'll take just one uh, message. Let me see. Let me, let me see just one message. Um, yes, someone says, uh, for information's sake, please inform. Uh, yes, uh, yes, someone is saying a message and says, for information's sake, they have filed more than 40 habeas corpus applications before the High Court Civil Division, that those applications have been uh, filed. Um, I, I unfortunately don't have the name of the person who sent uh, this Katana? message. I, I, no, I don't know. Uh, I just received the message forwarded to me by the producers. Uh, someone sent it through. Um, let me take, uh, yes, uh, let's take a quick commercial break and when we come back, we'll pick it up with uh, Brandon Chintu and uh, Ofono Pondo. We'll drive back. You are ready to invest in Airtel's initial public offering? Good choice. I'm going to show you how to do it straight from your phone. First, you're going to want to make sure you have a Securities Central Depository SCD account. Dial star 185 star 85 hash from your Airtel number. Choose Airtel IPO purchase from the available options. Enter your valid national identification number when prompted. Before you purchase, there are a few things you need to know. The minimum purchase is 2,500 shares. The share price is 100 Uganda shillings. Select the number of shares you wish to purchase. Choose your relevant broker for the purchase. Enter your Airtel money pin to confirm the transaction. Congratulations, you receive a confirmation message of your successful purchase. Red, red, red. Uganda, are you ready for a reggae filled night sipping on some red, red wine? You better be because UB40 featuring Ali Campbell is here. Cheerio, cheerio, baby. 
15 years since these legends performed in Uganda. UB40 featuring Ali Campbell is back to help you fall in love. Mark the date. This December 21st, 2023. At Kololo Independence Grounds. Celebrating the festive season with a spice of reggae. Let's paint the city colors of celebration. Close out the year with UB40 featuring Ali Campbell. Tickets available on tongueticketing.com from October 25th, 2023. and make your home the pride of the neighborhood. Oh, this is what I call a home. Uganda Bati, nothing fits superior quality. Let me take you on a journey through color, discover new world beyond the ordinary. Switch on your imagination, let me take you on a tour. Ordinary is boring, switch it up a bit. Ordinary is boring, our paint is not. That's why Duracord Color Mania Machine gives you up to 4,000 amazing color sheds. Visit your nearest dealer for more information today. Duracord, ask the experts. We all need light in this life and at Lighting City, we make sure we light up your world in the way that you deserve. With the widest range of classy and unique selection from all over the world. With our customized products like Lighting City chandeliers, wall lights, Lighting City outdoor lights, spotlights and strip lights, bedside lamps, floor lights and garden lights. We also deal in electrical items like switches, electrical cables and so much more. Find us in Kampala, 5th Street. Industrial Area, Chinese Business Hotel, Opposite Mask, Lighting City, the 21st Century Electrical and Lighting I'm going to Nyege Nyege! Step into the world of Nyege Nyege for four unforgettable days and nights where your wildest dreams come to life and the party never stops! Come with us as we return to the source of the Nile from November 9th to 12th and dance the night away with your crew while 300 international and local artists set the Nile ablaze. Secure your tickets and accommodation now at www.nyegenyege.com and fill the wonder of Nyege Nyege with Uganda Wargi and Smirnoff. Brought to you by Talent Africa and BS TV. Nyege Nyege Tapes, Ginger City Council, Smirnoff Vodka and Uganda Wargi. Alcohol is not for sale to persons under the age of 18. Please drink responsibly. You're still watching the front line on NBS TV and we're discussing uh, the stalemate in Parliament. How far will this go? Uh, that's the question you're asking. I see the debate going on on X. Um, uh, to my as a differs, I've seen uh, W differs. I've seen uh, your comment. Uh, keep that debate going on that platform. Kajubi is also watching us and uh, commenting uh, on X. Uh, Jimmy Chiberu, I have seen your comment. Jimmy Chiberu uh, complains that uh, the, the, the show is unbalanced and he thinks that uh, Mwanga Chibumbi is being bossed by uh, the NRM people. Uh, yeah, and, and, uh, let Jimmy Chiberu come. I think he's joined the opposition these days. Let him come and debate with us. <laughs> Jimmy, I think part of your, part of your comment is uh, uh, not fair uh, and, and not fairly accurate. Um, I see Emma Kasheja uh, also uh, 
commenting. Uh, let me read the message from Emma Kashija, who says, Ofono ought to know that a walkout is actually a civil form of protest. But I'm not disputing. Yes. Uh, you don't have to educate me on that one. I'm saying it is, a, it is a, something historical that has been going on. Mm. Yeah. I'm talking about the intent. Okay. No, that is not civil. No, that, mm -hmm. It is their right to walk out. So. I see somebody also called Jazz, uh, Jazz Akik or something, uh, commenting, Joe Wakabi, uh, and, and, and several others. We'll be able to pick some of these comments and uh, share them with uh, <coughs> the, the, the rest of the viewers. But the debate on uh, the social media platforms uh, should continue. We're discussing Parliament. Let me turn back to Honorable Brandon Chintu. Honorable Chintu, you agree with the minister... ICT and national guidance very much who called the walkout drama mm -hmm. and yet you say that issues of human rights should not be trivialized mm. for a country and for a government in power that took as one of its very first actions as early as uh, 1986 1987 as soon as it came into power to appoint the justice Arthur or their commission to investigate human rights commissions from independence until 1986, to be discussing 37 years down the road issues of people disappearing or being disappeared by government, people being killed of all times during what is supposed to be a democratic process called elections, and people spending time in prison without being produced in court, or I mean in detention without how, how do you say that these are issues that, um, um, yes, that, I that, that got, I got, are the cause of trouble? I got the question long time. I was only waiting for you to give me an opportunity. And I'll actually, from what also Nairo Mwanga said, I thought that I would only agree with the minister, but now I affirm. If I would have extra authorities, I would even talk about this. He told you they are demanding for an apology. Tell me in a sober world, what will an apology do? If the minister, we have a minister who is always very free and quickly to apologize. When the house hits, he gets up, okay, we are sorry, and it will not happen. What is the after effect of that? So this shows you these are jokers. And uh, the Hona Muanga has forgotten, I've not said that this is new. I gave you a history in the parliament where I've started. I told you started with the two colleagues, where we're discussing and those guys walked out. Actually, this drama is that each time they want to sit before the camera. If they walk out, why don't they go in a, in a meeting to resolve? When they walk out, they go on the stair for a press conference, readily waited. The other time, they even put on uh, some T-shirts and were there watching. So they should stop confusing people. I think uh, there is someone who wrote is, is a there, message. But did it uh, in the issues they are raising? There, there in the, would in be the, in, the, in, the, in the reasons they are giving us justification. They, they the would be the reasons would be valid, but the actions are actually too ancient in the modern world. These days, you don't expect a war to come up in Uganda if you are to have a war with a phone or phone or put it in writing. That's how civil we are going. But these guys want to last back in the ancient way of thinking because the, these fellas in opposition they are looking at election. They are even cleansing in these political parties. So and so will say, this political party uh, will, will, will help me win, let me go. So they are doing this activism to make them active. Look at the formation of these other parties. Oh, these oh, people have been back, running. On, 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 so let's go back to the issue. Yes, I'm have giving people, you the background. Have people lost lives in elections? Have people disappeared? Now I'll, people sta I'll start detention? with the issue of elections. Yes. Mwanga Chifumi and I have been in elections. Is that the responsibility that the president is coming in our constituents to guide us? Do you know how irresponsible we come, me and Mwanga Chukuvumi, making statements, also threatening people? No one should cross me in Butamba, like I can kill someone. Uh, uh, so uh, the lives, uh, 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 the uh, uh, lives are lost. Uh, yes. I'm coming to you, I'm yes. giving you a background. The lives are lost, and there is accountability, like you all told you. We have government structures. We have a working relationship with the civil society organization that even come and try to give us civic education. The same thing with the electoral commission. But how would we address this? They have a right to walk out, but would that answer? If, if, if the government spokesperson went yesterday, I mean tomorrow, the media center and says we are sorry, would that satisfy that man for the right? That I'm saying the these demand. guys, these guys should practically be serious. 
that instead of hona mwanga chivumbi coming here i would i don't want normally to use very big words but some of thinking that these Ugandans do not understand. They will come and do their bubadi. Actually, in Uganda, they call it kwetega. They will come and kwetega. Then it comes on national TV, cries, you know, this government does not have rights. Which rights, when you are also advocating, you are in the system that because of the rights, Uganda is being a, a private sector-led country. How would we have all these private sectors and empowering our people when we don't have rights? Because we must have rights so many things. Honorable Brandon Sinto, let me go back yes. to the question. Your leader, the leader of government business, the Prime Minister, went on the floor in which you were seated and admitted that, yes, there are a number of people that government can't account for. I don't remember that because I was in mm -hmm. Parliament. I saw the Prime Minister, you know, say that there are quite a number of people. No, and I told you, even if it's some, <laughs> I told you we have, is protesting. We, you have your opportunity aside, we, we, so we, don't worry. We, we have ministries and we have committees of parliament that oversee the entities and agents of, 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 of this government. So when there is an issue, security, we have a minister to answer for security. Mm. Much as the Prime Minister couldn't. When we have issues, actually the Minister of Internal Affairs, what the Honorable Mwanga, Chivumbi, they are protesting to walk away to deny their constituents a right of representation. The, the Minister of Internal Affairs was already with part of the report. And what they asked for, we all stood. He was saying something here about the region, that some people were going tribal. When the leader of opposition was pre pre presenting and giving his report, some people raised the issues. Why is it should be an issue around the central? And why should, it, why should they be right when it arises with a certain leader of the political party? Don't we have the same masteries in Busoga? Ask him, we even have their deputy whip. Mm. There's nothing that has ever been raised from Busoga. So they just have interest of confusing, setting their agenda. That's why they're calling it drama. Actually, in a practical way, we would say that the Chivumbi is in Chichiri. Once there is something they want to dance, they have issues, they don't solve them. Because I get disappointed that I'm seeing a senior legislator who would really, I would be inspiring, inspired of to know that he's leaving the platform that is supposed to find a solution, and he goes on the stairs for the cameraman to make his photos, and then he will give accountability. We should change. We have these challenges. We need to build our institution. But if they still continue, go like that. Of course, we also know the agenda that they are trying. We are consolidating power. We have a program for the five years that we have promised Ugandans. They should stop diverting, politicking. I would respect a member of parliament who would articulate each the way they do. And actually, if you go to our answer, these are the most talking people. But let's ask, ask and evaluate out of it, what sense do they make it? And if we're having this, let, let, this let, touch of let, human let, rights let, and people call it, can I just, just a minute. Let, let me go back to the question one if more If they time. still say, I don't want to be indisciplined, and I'm not being indisciplined over, but they keep on singing, because what Mwanga Chifumbi is singing here, we'll go to another station, but what steps have they, have they taken? Let, let, and okay. yet they are given reports. I, I and hear they you. call these, they are killing people, tomorrow we are killing people. I think we have a feeling maybe there should be something we shall interest our security I, I hear you. continue investigating. One more time. Is there validity in their concerns about violations of human rights? I have said that, that we all stand, yes. But their actions do not bring a solution. It's actually too ancient, and we should rubbish it out what, in this society. What, what is your society. own solution as the party in power to those concerns? We have solutions. We are, I told you when I was starting here that we have the, the Human Rights Commission. We have those people investigating. And you know, sometimes they will tell you, like I oh, said, if they would say they have abducted someone, this government is not so foolish that they will come. And we have uh, a process. We, have, we are not talking about issues of buying lipstick or frying mandaz and bagheer. If somebody has been gotten, there should be some processes. And the government, some people have been produced in court. But there are the some people who go to court, they win, they will tell you the institutions are not working. So the government is committed because we have a human rights commission whose people are heading it. They are very high integrity in this country. And most of them have been serving with the Chivumbis in, in the rest of the, what they call advocates and moving forward. And government, like me, especially my, my, my honorable colleagues, I urge them especially Mwanga Chivumbi, you whip, call back the members of parliament so that we can execute our mandate. 
like you do, you swear to, call, to, to protect the constitution, we should legislate where it's necessary, and we should put, because we make laws. Me and Mwantifumbi, we make laws, mm. but do we follow, do we implement, do we even understand if people shall see are talking that the, 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 the validity is to go out, sit on the stairs, walk out, and actually some exhibition can be seen here, and that's what they normally do and even abuse the speaker okay. that is ruling one side. Let me conclude this. You are even seeing it here. We are struggling with Mwanga Chivumbi to talk. He can't give you time to listen. Okay. Uh, Tumwine from Mbarara is watching us and says, uh, ask Chinto which business is going on when people are disappearing like chicken and as government which measures have they put in place to disprove the opposition? Tell Brandon to compare parliament without opposition and they shouldn't get concerned of camera life. Uh, that's Tumwine uh, watching us from Mbarara. Uh, he has, uh, yes, uh, Tumwine, I've taken your message. Uh, yes, I, I think you, you're, you're trying to resend uh, that same message uh, here. Jeff Bidand is watching us and says, uh, human mm -hmm. rights is Jeff a forest Bidand. you can't cut down. At any one point, we will all need to hide there. Especially, much of the human rights abuse is political propagandists and political activism. Opposition parliament should do more, should do much more than walking away. Exactly. I would love them to put forward much more reforms that government can adopt than mere press conferences. Uh, that's for your honorable Mwanga Chivumbe. Um, uh, Gift uh, BMK is, uh, says, um, once hailed as a freedom fighter and liberator, Mr. Msuddin <coughs> has been in power since 1986, has deliberately decided to bend on silencing and suppressing all individuals and institutions who come out to uncover the gross violations of fundamental human rights and speaking for the voiceless. This is also aimed at maintaining a firm grip on his power. Selfish interests and the lack of tolerance for divergent views, especially from the opposition and civil rights groups, have continued to show Ugandans the true colors. The opposition can continue the civil protest in parliament, but as long as NRM under the leadership of President Museveni is still here, I personally don't expect a miracle. Uh, that's a BMK gift. Um, uh, Colonel James Nkojo in Porongo says, uh, thanks for the show and uh, for being very articulate. Work hard, uh, work hard in silence. Uh, let your success be, make your noise. Opposition thinks by dramatizing issues is a sign of success. <laughs> then they have lost it. If you think dramatizing uh, issues is a sign of success. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have a message here. Uh, someone else, uh, Isaac Nwenishe, says the opposition has lost it all trying to earn cheap popularity and relevancy from the public. They have double-crossed citizens at all costs without shame. It's high time they go formal. I, I don't know what Isaac is trying to say here. I can't, I can't make out uh, Isaac what, it, what, what you're trying to say. Misai Tembo Kaugu is saying uh, it is painful to see an elected member of parliament condone the Broadway kidnap of innocent Ugandans. He would not make any regime apologist lose his seat if he joins the opposition, MPs, opposition MPs to demand for the release of the people being held in Comunicado. If what the regime is doing now is better than the time of Idi Amin, why then should the people appear with wounds at their release? A case in point was Masereka from Kasese, who was deformed because his crime was to oppose the regime. Uh, that's Misairi Tembo Kahugu. Um, I have a few more messages here, but I'll, take, I'll, pick, I'll pick some of that. Uh, let me just see this. Uh, okay, I, I think we'll pick those uh, for now. One more message here. Uh, Honorable Kintu is a little too... <laughs> you're not articulating the issues according to this uh, Moses in Kutu, I think. Uh, he says, uh, during the Idi Amin and Obote days, the pro-government people used to speak the way he's doing. He ought to style up and face reality. Uh, I think that's, this is someone called, uh, yes, Moses in Kutu? Yes, I think so. Uh, that's what he says his name is. Uh, let me see. Uh, I think, yeah, I think for now we can take... Yes, Kenneth, Kenneth Mwangusha here uh, says uh, he's watching the show, doesn't have a comment uh, to share. Thank you. Mr. Fonopoto, let me come back to you. Does it concern you that after so many years and after what was called a fundamental change, 
questions of human rights, questions of people dying because of their political beliefs and disagreement with government holding a different opinion, and questions of people being kidnapped or disappearing still <coughs> hover around this government? Well, let me repeat what I said at the beginning. The government of Uganda does not condone or trivialize complaints, whether frivolous or genuine, about human rights abuse, governance issues, corruption, wastage. No, we don't. That's why ourselves, from the top, we speak about it. We are the only government so far in Uganda that has had courage to admit our mistakes and facing the consequences, correcting and, and facing the consequences of failure to correct. The reason we have led Uganda for 37 years under one leadership is because Ugandans judge that we are genuine even when we make mistakes. Honorable Mwanga Kivumbi, we don't come to this show to choreograph <laughs> so that Kintu and my words should rhyme. Otherwise, we wouldn't be genuine. But also, I expect you to appreciate that Brandon is a young man. Mm. This is his first time in parliament. He may not have the benefit of hindsight of inside the knowledge that I have from CA and so on and so forth, the details. I expect you, a reasonable person, to. I also said that the Monga Kibumbis, even when they raise genuine issues, sometimes may be mistaken, but genuine, they do with hyperbole. And I repeated that hyperbole here today, tonight. Hyperbole. Go and check the meaning of what hyperbole means. That you twist, you put out of context, you dramatize issues. It is not that we don't appreciate their complaints. I use the word regurgitate, falsify. Ask Mwanga Kivumbi here. How come they came from the accusation? Go and check the answer of this parliament, 2021, when they began raising these issues, they started with thousands of the disappeared. Ask Honorable Mwanga Kivumba, how come they have narrowed down to 48, now to 18? Let alone the fact that he's now raising new ones in this show, Manenero, I don't know what. I'm not saying Manenero did not die in our hands. We are the ones who said Manenero died in our hands, in the hands of CMI. In about, this was 20, 2005, thereabout. Mm -hmm. We are the ones who said so. And we handed over the body after due medical processes to the family. We did not hide that fact. If we had, had, if we had wanted mischief, we would have hidden the, uh, the circumstances of death. But it's also true that it is possible that somebody, somebody who, have, who has pre-existing conditions can die in your hands without even a torture. It is possible. And we usually bring these facts out. Now, are we concerned that the NRM under the leadership of your <laughs> 7 that came to do away with, hopefully, the abuses of Amin, the abuses of Obote too, is being accused of similar abuses. Yes, we are concerned. But are these accusations accurate? My view and the facts bear out, us out that they are not accurate. Yes, there are people who are dying in our hands, but not under the same circumstances of impunity. Even when we say we are going for elections, we cannot 
prevent mischief makers from doing mischief and consequently collide with the process of law enforcement. Now, that process of law enforcement can make a mistake. Mistakes can occur. And where those mistakes occur in the course of law enforcement and somebody is injured, somebody is killed, somebody is apprehended without credible evidence, the due process in the courts of law eventually will absolve that person. Would an apology apply? They're demanding for one. Mm -hmm. Let them bring case by case. If they bring case by case and we examine the circumstances, because that's how the law works, you bring a case and you say you arrested the phone on false accusation. And the investigations eventually prove that it was false accusation. In that kind of circumstance, yes, it is possible to have an apology. But also where somebody has gone through courts of law and there is acquittal, and maybe acquittal if the the, 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 the legal process provides for monetary compensation. You know that has been done in Uganda. There are people who have been compensated through court awards. Would you, get, you are, would you again ask government to apologize for somebody who has gone through a process <coughs> of law and somehow was found innocent and then the courts have ordered monetary compensation? I don't think it would be fair to demand for compensation from government. Now, where we have made mistakes, we have apologized, we have made compensation, we have made the, you, you call it, how do you call it in law? We have, let me use the ordinary term, we have made compensation. Mm. Part of the reason we have lived long is that we have broadened, you have known people who have been arrested, tried, along the way cases are abandoned, discontinued. Probably even reaching, bending backwards politically and you say, we wronged you, but can you come and join the government? You have seen those cases. None other than General Moses Ali demonstrate, demonstrates that you know very well that Moses said he was uh, tried for treason. Honorable Maratuba was arrested, uh, leapfrogged, and eventually acquitted. I don't know if they were compensated those 18 politicians from northern Uganda. Mm. You know very the well the ones who were flogged. Yes, you, you, you remember eventually Honorable Maratuba joined the government, and so on and so forth. Why are we? characterizing the ones of the Mwanga Kivumbis and others before <coughs> them as a drama for cheap political gain. Because first of all, they recycle the same accusation, sometimes the same names. Because they don't agree, partly because sometimes they don't agree with the reasons. You have seen the mischaracterization. Even where we say we have person X before a court of law, they say he is a political prisoner. Now, we cannot prevent Honorable Mwanga Kivumbi from using certain phrases. If he, if, he, if he chooses to use the word abduction, abduction is defined in law. Is defined in law. If you disagree, that a civilian cannot be tried by a military court, by a court martial. That is your view, and remedies exist in law, how you can challenge. But a military a <coughs> court martial is a valid court established, uh, established by the laws of Uganda and the Constitution of Uganda. Now, if you disagree that a civilian should not be tried, when they are found with the military stores in a court martial, then go and challenge that trial before a competent court. You, you However, know, if, you you also, if, you, if you also think mm. that the person is simply being framed 
by being accused of holding by by, by uh, with the uh, treason charges with the uh, being framed for holding uh, military stores then also raise it in the court the reason the Mwanga Kivumbis and actually he gives us credit he says for disagreeing for, for, for the for, for a similar abuse Museven and his colleagues picked up guns. That's correct. But because they picked up guns because the conditions did not allow openly challenging the status quo of the day in 1980, or indeed the one of Amin. The fact that Mwanga Kivumbis... When you just are, come through an election? Yes. 1980? 1980? Yes. In yes, 1980, you yes, had just gone through yes, an election yes, yes, on but, December but, but, 10th. Yes, yes, but... Only yes, the moment. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But, but you know... An election was held on December 10th. 10th. Yes, that's correct. Uh, President Museveni yes. and colleagues walked into the bush on February 6th. Yes. So what conditions did not allow in those circumstances? Uh, yes. And you know, the ones who went to court, do you know? You know that, you know very well that uh, Abu Mayanja went to court to challenge. You know the one who stood with the, with the Ruza Kirunda, he's in this town. Wangora, Paul Wangora, a lawyer in this town, he challenged. Go and ask the Chief Justice, go and ask the Registrar of Court of Uganda if their case was ever listened to. Yeah, and you know the case of Bamuturaki? Um, yeah, I, I hope you do, a DPMP, you, mm. you know? I do. You know the case of, of Christmas Kiong. So, I'm simply saying, in Museveni's judgment and his colleagues, they believed, they concluded that the condition did not warrant civil, mounting civil challenge to the status quo against abuse. Now, the Mwanga Kivumbis can walk out go back and continue being paid by the same government. The, he can say it is his right, he can say it is his right as elected MP to get his entitlement, the, his salaries and so on, but in other circumstances, probably he would be complaining from Nairobi. Probably he would be complaining from as far away as Ottawa. I'm not saying we he, are... He, I'm he, not, he suggested that yes, they possibly uh, live in Alaska, so... Yes, uh, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that... I'm not saying that mm. we, we are doing him a favor to allow him to challenge the NRN from within the precincts of Parliament of Uganda, which is presided over by NRM. No. We are saying we have actually created a conducive atmosphere for him to challenge NRM from within... From, from within well knowing that nothing adverse will happen to him. But we are simply saying this hyperbole by which they present the issues is unhelpful mm. and is done on purpose. And what is that purpose? We are saying that the purpose on which they are using, this, they are doing this hyperbole is not just to get justice, but to get a political mileage. And we, it is their right, but we disagree with their fashion. We disagree with their fashion. We, we are not saying it is illegal. We simply disagree with their with, 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 with their exactly. fashion. Okay. And it is our it is it is our right also to keep exposing them to the rest of Ugandans who might not be seeing things the way we see. Okay. That Honorable Mwanga Kivumbi and his small group are doing it for purposes, even this Not attempt to here. compare us with Amin is on purpose. But that's also their, their right mm. to, to say, to, 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 to smear us with the feces and with the cow dung and with what? It is our job also to tell Uganda <coughs> that although Mwanga Kivumbis are smearing us with the feces. Not from a the, 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 even if they are smearing us with the feces, we are actually not feces. Okay. We are not feces. We still, be, we, we are... It's not sticking. It is not sticking. We are good people. And that's why, with all the accusations that have been made against President Museveni, 
against the NRM establishment. Over the last 37 years, to the best of my knowledge, actually what the Mwanga Kivumbis are doing is a tiny bit to what Madame Cecilia Gwanis did between 86 and 2006. Thank you. Let me take a message and we take and a I break. No, I, and, and, I just, and I just want to conclude that it actually helps show Ugandans the difference between Idi Amin, Milton Obote, and Museveni's lead Uganda. Okay, let me take a message and from... And that's why uh, I wish, I said, I wish them well. If let, they let me take a message from will, Andrew Katabs, listening in from Barara, who says, advise Honorable Kinto that while it's essential to scrutinize the actions and demands of opposition MPs, we must remember that accountability for missing persons is a universal concern. Regardless of a political affiliation, the welfare of citizens and their rights to life must be upheld. It is in the best interest of the nation that all stakeholders work together to address this issue, transcending political divides. Accountability and transparency in government actions are fundamental principles of any democratic society. We should encourage open discussions that allow all voices to be heard, fostering a healthy democratic environment, Let's focus on finding solutions and ensuring justice for the missing persons, irrespective of the political and the, and the, and the, and landscape. To conclude, the, That's the, Andrew Katabs. I'm, I'm afraid we're taking the, a break. No, the, the, there was some, one of your message people who mm. said that Ugandans are getting lost like chicken. I would want that person, because he said from Barara, I, I would want from his village, or from Barara, or from any part of Uganda, for him to name for me. The people who disappeared in the hands of government, or suspected to, be, to have been the kidnapped by government, or disappeared in the hands of government today, yesterday, then, tomorrow, tomorrow, because it says people are disappearing like chicken. Okay. Let me take a message and, from... And finally, the Mwanga Kivumbis are using... We are still debating on the, 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 this we, 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 this, we, No, we. because it is the cheap way. That's okay. why, if you ask them, they mm. say... 20 people, they have <coughs> 40 habeas corpus. If people, they, 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 they disappeared at 18, how would you file okay. 40 habeas corpus? Um, the message of habeas corpus came from uh, lawyer George Musisi. I, I, I would want him to give us the, the, the case, the, the um, file uh, number. This is a the message. Honorable Kinto's response to the walkout of the opposition is absurd. Honorable Kivumbi is a shining star in the debate. John Ken Luchamuzi, the man, CP president. Uh, uh, thank you. Ken, uh, the man. Yes, can the man. Mm -hmm. um, um, please ask O, o whether the government ever apologized to the family of Mamenero over his death. Was his family compensated? Ask, uh, his, ask his brother. Uh, that's from Wewala Rally. Um, uh, I will, yeah, let me take those for now. Uh, we'll take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we'll continue with this discussion. Keep the messages coming. Keep the debate on our social media platforms uh, flowing, and keep the debate there uh, as, uh, as we do the debate inside the studio here. We'll be right back. Swag. All on one 
on stage. Catch all the action, the drama. This is Hello, Mr. Right. Only on, on Star Time. Time. Catch Hello, Mr. Right on Makula Chika every Sunday at 8 p.m. And repeat on Makula TV every Saturday at 8 p.m. Global Star is the official sponsor of Hello, Mr. Right. Global Star, an internationally renowned TV and home appliance brand. Better steady, be better. Seven out of ten of us have lost a substantial amount of money to fraudsters. Money we could have used to pay rent, invest in small businesses, clear fees, or send to mama in the village. Better steady and protect what's yours by being vigilant with your virtual transactions. Keep your pin to yourself and only take calls from registered customer care numbers in case of telecom issues. Better steady, be better. Do you buy? Uganda Communications Commission, Bank of Uganda, MTN Uganda, Stambik Bank, Uganda Bankers Association, United Media, Equity, and MTN Momo. Uh, this is how you dress for Kwanjula. This is how you dress to meet your Nyazala. But this is how you dress for Oktoberfest Kampala, the Drench Edition. Come slay, play, eat, and drink at Uganda's biggest beer and food festival. There'll be incredible performances from Chameleon, Cindy, Abeka Band, Cohen JC, and many others. Muja Muja to Lugogo Cricket Oval on October 28th, 2023. And bring the family. Kids below 12 enter free. Oktoberfest Kampala is proudly brought to you by My Food Network, FlexiPay, Rancher's Finest, Brussels Airlines, Subantu, the Uganda German Cultural Society, Pepsi, Uvotam, Sanyuka TV, The Villa, and Now Special. Whatever sport you enjoy, Sport Action on NBS Sport has you covered. Whether you want to support the Uganda Cranes or our netball team, golf or athletics, both domestic sporting events in Uganda and international sporting events in which Ugandans compete are the subjects of our attention. What are you still holding out for? Catch all the excitement on Sport Action by tuning to NBS Sport, brought to you by MDN, the number one supporter of Ugandan sports. Your next code could be your ticket to the good times. Grab a bottle, sip, and scan the QR code in store or on Coke Mini and unlock cool music experiences. Coke Studios back with real magic. You're still watching The Frontline on NBS TV, and we're discussing the walkout by the opposition, the stalemate in the House. It is not actually stalemate, because no. part of the business is continuing yes, is. with one side of the House represented. That is the ruling party. And uh, the, the rules of procedure, which uh, I said I have a copy here, but uh, Brandon Chinto Honorable and Mwanga uh, Chivumbi are more familiar with, uh, do not say that Parliament business cannot go on when the opposition is not present. It only talks about a certain number of members of parliament. Uh, but that's what Charles, qualifies. But Charles, yes, I think you are not even very accurate there. Mm. Actually, parliament is not just the plenary. Yes. It, oh, it, and, and the workout it, is the, in relation it, to the plenary. Thank you for that. The, these members who say they have worked out, they actually, in the committees, they go for consultations in their constituencies and so on and so forth with the speaker and among each other. So they actually not they, they, they actually in the house, except the plenary. Thank you. Thank you. I th thank you for that clarification. Honorable Mwanga Chivombi, how can you be literally taking industrial action and not taking industrial action? <laughs> First of all, at the same time. Let me you, make, you're boycotting parliament but yes. still continuing to do parliament business. Let me make um, <clears throat> first of all I've uh, attentively and could, 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 you, could you kindly first answer my question and I'm, then go back to those? Yes, I do. First, uh, to respond. Is first of all, yes. first and foremost, we are a well cultured group. 
when death occurs in our cultural setting, in our villages, you put everything aside to respect the dead. Mm. So it was our considered opinion for us to go and eulogize um, the late Henry Chamber. It's within us, it's within our country. <coughs> Anyone faltering us to do that, we are saying that's a decision we took. And we believe it's only sober and a logical decision and a correct decision. Now, on committees of parliament, where we also debated it, whether we should also continue our boycott, including the boycott of, of committees. And we took a decision not to do so. Because some of the committees are accountable committees which we chair. Mm. And therefore, you would be doing a disservice if you, you boycott even committees where you chair. And so because of that, we decided that committees work can continue now. What, what, what message? Precisely, what message? Understand us. Precisely, this is the demonstration. Yes. Now, in the demonstration, it must be in the right place and at the right time. Not everywhere. Okay? So, so in our humble view, plenary, plenary is the right place for people to say, listen, this is where we want our case to be heard. And we chose where to stage our case. And I think we are right to say we can boycott plenary. We can demonstrate in plenary. We can actually petition plenary to listen because we would have understood if the case as raised was referred to a committee. Where? It wasn't referred Where? to a committee. In we are asking government to account. In circumstances where you're so outnumbered and your rules of procedure do not put a requirement that in spite of this being a multi-party parliament that the opposition must be present for parliament to conduct its business what is the effect of your demonstration when house business you're doing business in the committees that's going on you're doing other parliament business you're only missing the plenary but plenary is able to go on without you present yeah how, how, how much effect can you have the effect we have you already having it and i've explained it for the tenth time that that part of this is to put this to the broader public and say, look at this impunity, look at this injustice. Hon Are man. we achieving it? Honorable Are we achieving it in all, or fairness, not? in all fairness, we are having this discussion when there are mothers out there, mm -hmm. when there are fathers out there, whom, as you say, have not seen their children. Their wives that have not seen their husbands, their children that have not seen their parents. Exactly. How much does this demonstration, oh this discussion, help to find them answers? How much would silence help them if we didn't raise them and continue with business as usual? How will it help them? As you post the other question, say, what option do you have? Give me an answer. What options do you what, have? What option do you have? We are saying, should we have gone silent? I said, okay, guys. It's Brandon business. believes you should have engaged no, no, no. with them and continued debating. Brandon, I've listened to him twice hmm. on this talk show. And with due respect, is the honorable colleague. His submission does not merit an answer. And I will not answer him. I've listened attentively. Mm. Okay? His submission cannot merit an answer, and I won't give it that luxury. So he can talk. I, I don't think I can go to those levels. I'm sorry he's a member of parliament, but. You don't have to be sorry for me. He doesn't. I don't deserve a comment from me. Um, the public can prostitute him in, with his submission. But that's what he's capable of. So and, I, and I leave it to him. 
Okay. So, right. I'll not comment about to <laughs> respond to him. Now, on your question of whether we are being effective, we are. Because, you see, this is the civic struggle. And you go process by process, step by step. And as I've told you, we started this slowly. Where we felt we needed to go to the courts of law, we went to the courts of law. Where we, we needed to petition the constitutional court, we did. Where we, we needed to debate, we debated. And he has acknowledged that so many times we've engaged in this debate. We have, he is acknowledging, we first had a long list. We are very logical, he said, account for this. He says, OK, these, these ones you have released. These ones, you know the likes of Nobian Lee and others, mm. in that whole group. We are the, part the of Kalangala group. The Kalangala group mm. was part of that demand. At the of the initialist. Of the initialist. Mm. Government acknowledged that they had them, they were in a court martial, they were released. Okay? Or we are stupid to continue with the same list as it is. We go on deleting where we have had the actual, until we reach the process, these ones you can't account for. Mm. So, even the Human Rights Commission in its report said the 18 people cannot be accounted for. When you cross names, I always speak about different names. You say, Chivarama is the name here, is the name here. There are so many others on that list. So we've been very, very consistent in our demands. But, but and, both, and, both you are asking, and, and you are asking, mm. what does the country benefit from our boycott when business is continuing? What would we do if you are in our shoes? I am asking the question. No, I'm, I'm saying, I'm asking if question. you were Mwanga Chivumbi, I, I, I'm not talking about if you are Mwanga Chivumbi, you country. want us to go and, and debate water harvest. I am saying. Water harvest. I am saying. When so many, some Ugandans have disappeared. On, on, on when Mwanga, government has disappeared. Honorable Mwanga Chivumbi, let me put the question as I put it to you. I am asking for a parent who has not seen their child, for a mother who hasn't seen their son, for a wife who hasn't seen their husband, for a child who has not seen their parent, what are you saying to them? How does the answer their question? What consolation do you get if you hear that, that there are people who are concerned and are also asking for you, for where their children are? Mm. That would console me a little bit. If there are still people out there willing to even, honorable members who are not even willing not to sit in the parliament, to ensure that my son, my daughter, my husband, my wife, my uncle is accounted for. I mean, I would be proud of men and women who have taken that step. There seems to be general agreement in parliament that the issue, and you have made the argument on the floor, that issues of human rights are not partisan issues. They cut Definitely. across. Why have you not been able to mobilize at least a few members from the ruling party to side with you? It's their insensitivity, and I can't answer for them. Mm. If they're, they're <laughs> All of them? If they've chosen to be the whole batch, why not? Listen, these are interesting members. The other day, somebody was abused. Eh? And uh, a vulnerable they member mm, allegedly abused by Honorable Zake. The whole of that other side felt so so, oh, what would you call it, so annoyed with what Zake did, and they're almost going to lynch him in parliament, okay? The other day, somebody presiding over that parliament, we hear, was insulted by a tweet. Today, I, I had the prime minister, eh? mm. number has been, so, he has the, someone, the prime minister has issued a statement so to, uh, to about the... Asking the, the IGG to investigate... IGP, police. I, IGP to investigate some, something on social media. If that's how they feel. So, and these are people who are on some social media. Don't they have a heart for people who have been killed, let, kidnapped? Let, and let, they are let, that, let put, let and, the question and they are that insensitive. And they want to reduce that to drama. And they want to reduce that to Katemba. I cannot, I cannot answer for them. It is who they are. Let, 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 let me put the question to Brandon Kinto the same way. You say that issues of human rights should not be trivialized. 
your colleagues are saying their concerns here. Ofono Pondo says their mistakes might have been made. Um, where, where, where is that meeting point between you and them on that central issue when you demand and ask the same questions? Or maybe sometimes find bipartisanship to say this is an important issue that must be addressed. First of all, I want to clear it very well. Probably uh, the viewers must have misquoted me. I did not say that I support human rights violation. I only condemn the mode at which our colleagues are taking things slightly for their selfish interests because they want votes. The one to whom is just targeting, just how do I get but, but back you, to 2026? But you, you honestly can't just dismiss it. No, I'm not and, and, saying. And reduce it to that's, one. That's, that's what it is. Yes. What is it? You, you now, can, you have you, asked him questions. Maybe they are too heavy for him to answer. That what does this solve for someone? It's the same thing when their colleagues, our colleagues were in prison. I never saw Mwanga Chivumbi going to court massacre, but I saw him putting in a T-shirt and protesting out when we were discussing a report. So you look at if they cannot even be sensitive to their own colleagues, that they subscribe the same party. That's why we reduce it to Katamba. They don't have any solution. Yeah, just for, for point of information, actually, since the Sevenians came from court, they even uh, refused to talk to Mpuga and his country. And you're asking this work out, why, why preliminary? Because they know there is no financial consequences for not attending the plenary, but there is a financial consequence for not attending the committee. So he's trying to be clever by half by saying, well, you see, if, if, if you can attend committees where you chair, that's actually where you should not even participate. Make sure that the, co the committees don't work because you are the mm -hmm. leaders. Okay. But because they fear the financial loss in the committees, they cannot, they cannot boycott the committee. It doesn't whatever, really whatever, matter whatever, whatever how much. Whatever, much, it, is, but whatever it, it is. So now so going, don't try to be clever by so my brother. Going, going back to what you asked me, we mm. condemn, and that's why. But the people you're saying, can we meet and converge? These guys can never meet. They, they can't discuss. We're they can this. never really discuss. So they should change the Mwanga Chifumbi and the rest. One, with the respect and removing the the ancient way of thinking that they will be assuming things have to go like this okay. and they shout and undermine others. We're continuing this discussion on the Afro mobile app. If you're watching us on the Ordinary TV and you don't have the Afro mobile app, I advise you to download the app and continue watching the show. If you've already been watching us on Afro mobile app, we're continuing uh, for the show for the next uh, uh, more minutes, depending. Um, kindly stay with us. And the debate on our social media platforms on X, on WhatsApp, on Facebook, should continue. And you can continue to send me messages. I'll be able to pick and read some of those that I am able to. Uh, but kind of when you send a message, uh, be cordial, be respectful, and don't be insulting. Uh, let's continue.